Thank you for tuning in to Homeschool Homesteaders. Today we're going to talk about growing cabbage. And obviously many reasons to grow cabbage, but when it's harvest time, you have your summer barbecue and you make some coleslaw to put on your pulled pork sandwich. Results will vary depending on where you live. And I live in the state of Minnesota, zones four or three. The dot is bigger for privacy reasons. Cabbage is very easy to grow, especially in colder climates. It gets a two out of 10. And ideal growing temps will be something above frost, 280 Fahrenheit. And like I said, the colder weather is actually better. Now, cabbage is definitely more of a healthier vegetable, so that's why I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Lettuce and cabbage are not in the same family. Cabbage is actually more related to broccoli than iceberg lettuce. Now, cabbage does taste the same to me. I cannot tell the difference between the different types. This is some early on a cabbage, and most importantly is you read the back of the package on how to plant. Now, here are the seeds the size of them. It's very amazing how something this small will grow into a huge head of cabbage. And you're going to take these small seeds and you're going to plant them 16 inches apart directly into the soil. Now, if for some reason one of the seeds does not sprout, you just plant it again. And this way you get a continuous crop, somewhat of a continuous crop. And two weeks later, this is what you get. Here's how the sprouts look like. By June 26, maybe almost a month later, you just got a bunch of leaves. But it's okay. Notice the different size. So you're going to have a continuous crop. Uh, heads of cabbage don't grow at the same time. Now about two weeks later, this is July 4th. Keep in mind I planted around May 1. Uh, May, May 3rd, that's when I planted. And you'll notice if you look inside, you have the tiny heads are beginning to form. And so obviously those heads are going to get bigger. These leaves are edible. Now the little girl running back, that's my little daughter. And here is a picture of her with the cabbages much bigger. And throughout the summer months, you come to your garden. Obviously every day you check them out, uh, remove any grasshoppers or caterpillars. And you notice the heads are getting bigger. So, um, when they're fully firm and you grab them, that's when you want to rip them. But right now, they're still a bit too small, even though completely edible. Now, I did say before that heads of cabbages tend to develop at different times. You're not going to have them all ready to be harvested the same day. So here I am walking around. Today, I'm going to rip one head of cabbage and I'm going to see which is the best one to harvest. So yeah, just walk around and see which one is the best. You're going to do this every day. And here is a recipe or a few ingredients for the next recipe. So you will take some mushrooms of your choice. I got canned mushrooms here. Then you're going to take the diced up green peppers, onions, carrots, and you're going to saute them, sweat them down. So they look like this, add the garlic, then you add the mushrooms back in, then you add the cabbage, you chop up the cabbage, of course, and then you put your choice of liquid, not a, not a lot, probably uh, maybe half a cup, and so um, your favorite chicken stock, and then finally, when you have barbecue, such as brats up here, you load up the wilted cabbage on the bun, and you enjoy it. Up here, I have a brisket that I'm smoking on a smoker, and this uh, sautéed cabbage recipe works well with any barbecue that you have. So here, I have a side of wilted cabbage on the side, and it is delicious. Now, I am back in my garden. Uh, these heads of cabbages are a bit small, so probably in a week I will harvest them. But I strongly recommend that you do a continual harvest because one head of cabbage is enough for a week in our house. And so you just walk around and you pick one. So this one looks very good. I like this one a lot. I'll probably pick this one next. This one up here is beginning to crack. That means I waited too long. I should have picked this one two days ago. Now you will take a knife and you will chop. This is how I harvest my cabbage. Pull back the leaves and chop. 
you would be tempted to throw out your cracked heads of cabbage but do not they still you could still use them and here if you look in my fridge you see sauerkraut this is a eastern european sauerkraut because it does have some carrots in it and um, sauerkraut is obviously very healthy and at the same time the best side dish ever here I am making some pierogies or pierahi as they are pronounced and pile up some onions and you got sauerkraut on the side and enjoy the sour cream so I know sour cream and sauerkraut do not mix well but in my stomach it's totally fine now sometimes you are not so lucky and you have to chop it several times to get the job done so remove the leaves and start hacking away at the cabbage i am sure that there is a sophisticated way how to cleanly harvest heads of cabbage i prefer my way because it's much more fun and so here i am finally chopped it and you can see a nice round head of cabbage and today i had about five or six which were ready to be harvested at the same time so this head of cabbage will join the other cabbages in the group when you are putting a head of cabbage into boiling water you are obviously making cabbage rolls my favorite stuffing is beef onions garlic and cooked rice you will wrap it up into a neat little cabbage burrito and you will line up a baking tray if you ran out of cabbage leaves take a pepper red green yellow and stuff them and then we're going to have to work on some liquid i use chicken stock mixed with tomato sauce you could use beef stock you could use uh, beer if you want and like i said use whatever size tray you want to fit all of the cabbage burritos that you made then you will put it in the oven for 90 minutes covered and after 90 minutes this is what you should have some nice steaming hot cabbage rolls this is something i grew up with my mom made this all the time the way you eat a cabbage roll is with sour cream and you put some green chives or parsley to garnish it and as i'm holding the camera with one hand i'm going to try to dig in and grab a bite even though it's difficult because i'm holding the camera with one hand but anyways this is how good cabbage rolls should look like now in the month of november we had frost every single night and you would think that cabbage will die but here i am in my garden and you could see it's covered with snow and it's still growing so i'm not sure how much cold weather it could handle but this probably will die but just to show you that cabbage is extremely cold hardy thank you for watching